Namaste, good afternoon. I am Ganesh Sharma. Namaste. Uh, we are going to build our computer system from this scratch together with you, me, and Nina. You excited, Nina? Yeah. Let's do it then. But you must be thinking that it is going to be really, really complicated and difficult. But he never has done one. So we are going together. It is going to be really exciting and easy. Okay, let's go together. We have bought this all individual parts of the computer system. We are going to open that up and lay out as it required. Okay, ready? You ready? You ready? I'm ready. I'm so excited to open these packages. Uh, now Nina and I opened up all individual parts of the computer here and laid down on the table. First one, this one is ATF Meat Tower and there is nothing there inside. And the uh, next one is the GX650 PSU which is power supply unit with the necessary cable along with this one. And the next one here you can see is the motherboard. Uh, this is ATX MSI motherboard uh, compatible to Intel chipset. Within this one, first if you see here, this is the central processing unit mount. Um, and on the right hand side you can see four slots. They are the vendor nexus memory slots. You can see here is the CMOS complementary metal oxide semiconductor batteries and also there you can see the slot there is for graphic card and then we have got two graphic cards uh, which is what we call is uh, the PCIe card peripheral component interconnect slots and here what you can see is the SSD mounting slot these days SSD is more faster and more efficient and it has got two slots in this one is here and one with here it's seen already installed. Two random access memory, double data red 4, DDR4, and that central processing unit. This is the i7 core 10th generation there. Now this is GeForce graphic card 4 gigabyte. These are RGB fans, CPU cooler, and that's firewall adapter. I have already downloaded operating system, Windows 10 Professional. So that's what we're gonna install later when we finish. We're gonna first install the central processing unit. You ready? Ready? Yeah, mm, okay, let's let's start. Folks, this is the central processing unit CPU mount. Nina, can you show me where the little triangle in the CPUs? The little triangle, right? Okay. Any triangle in the mount? Uh, CPU there's mount. a triangle right there. Okay, that's what you need to make sure that two triangles is parallel each other later when it is about to install. Okay, first, what you're gonna do is press the locking latch and press down and out and up and then. Pull the cover up. Pull the cover and lift it down. Now, make sure you do not toss on the top or bottom of the CPU it, because, show me on the other side, that's the golden links. You can see there, they are really, really delicate. If you bend one and that CPU does not work, and bend one and that CPU does not work. And similar here, there are lots of connector if you bend one of them and it's not gonna work so you need to be very very careful now nina pick up very carefully the cpu making sure that you just hold by the side okay and make sure where the triangle is can you see the triangle and you you make a uh, parallel of the two angles and slightly slightly bring it forward or bring forward just give it again well done now flip the cover down Pull it now, pull it down strongly. I'm scared to break it. No, you, you don't. You, wow, you installed that central processing unit. Well done, job done well, okay? Now, Nina has already installed the CPU onto the motherboard. Now, next important thing is to install the uh, CPU fan. 
This is the CPU fan we're going to install. And as you can see on the center, that the thermal paste is already been applied. And also here on the CPU, the thermal paste is already been applied. Otherwise, you have to apply a thermal paste. Pick the CPU fan. Can you see that there are four pins? And can you see there's the one, one hole is there, one hole, and one hole is there, and one hole is there. So make the pins and hole parallel and give a bit of a twist around. It's done, is it? Now it's done. Can you see the arrow there? Press down and then twist to the anti clockwise. So it's, it's been locked, okay? CPU fan is now being installed. Now the CPU cooling fan is now being installed. Uh, only one thing that you need to do is to now connect the power cable onto the motherboard. There are four pins connector. If you see here, this is near to the um, CPU, so you can connect there. Well, Nina, you installed the central processing unit and cooling. see the uh, distinct cool. click it's yeah? flying no it, it has to be like this now um pick up the cover and press exactly as it was when you take that off two holes uh, parallel Blind. can you screw that you know have you, have you screw both sides yes that is ssd now is been installed well, we have installed CPU, CPU fan, um, memory, and the storage device here all completely. What are you up to? Are you done show yours? I think you are doing yours. Have you? Well, Nina, now we are going to install the motherboard into the tower here. Okay. You are ready? Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, now what I want to do is take the dust filter from the top. We need to, because we need to strip everything down so that we have got access into the tower, okay? Now place it flat on, on the table and then you can only screw the four screws down okay now take the glass off now this is our tower open that's empty there is nothing there that's the controller of battery and this is io input output socket window we here look one two three four five six seven eight nine pins all together that's the icon i counted there nine that's what you call it is stand off. So those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pins. Now in relation to the nine, look at there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pins. That will go there, making sure that this will go into that socket. You get that? Yeah. Try to lift very carefully. Make sure you align all the pins that I show you, nine pins. They should sit properly by themselves. Let me check. Input output system is properly seated. That hole there is parallel. No, you fit it properly. That's an excellent. Now we need to screw that up. 
Am I a scammer? How can I be a scammer? It's a big problem. Oh, but not me. Two. So yeah. that's the last one, is it? Okay, Nina. Um, you are doing so well until now. Mm -hmm. You enjoying or not? Yes. How much? A lot. A lot. Okay. Now we are going to install the graphic card into the motherboard over here. That graphic card will take two windows, this one and that one. Uh, so therefore that needs to be taken out. So only screw that off and take that off. Windows out. Now we have got two windows open and it is ready to the graphic card to be installed. Okay, Nina, now lift and turn that over and make sure you take the safety plastic off the card and lift that up. One notch is there and that notch is make them parallel together and slide that into it. Well done. Good. And now push it, push it down. That's great. Now it's good. Is it in tight, yeah? Do you enjoying now? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, how about you? You're doing well? I'm sure you are. Okay, now we have installed seven different things into this computer tower. The next thing uh, we're gonna install is the fans. I have bought three fans already installed in this tower. Uh, it was it was right as it is uh, with the three fans. Now we are going to install uh, one of the fan over there uh, and two of the fan on top of the tower over there, okay? Okay, have you done all four, you know? Yes. Well done, great. Pull this. Pull. Uh, take the slide left. Put a slide. Okay. Put it somewhere. Okay, um, how many we install? Two on the top. That means that's the last one, isn't it? Oh, one there. Oh, two on the top. Okay, folks, this is fully modular power supply unit. Now I'm going to connect the motherboard power connector. Looking at the modular here, I'm going to... Connect this one here, like this. Now, next one, CPU power supply unit. This goes to the CPU, and that goes to the power supply unit. It's clearly marked. So, this is the power supply unit. I'm gonna connect this to the power supply unit here. Uh, another power cable for the uh, central processing unit CPU. You can uh, uh, connect to any of these you know, circuits there. So. That's there. Another power cable for the graphic card. It also goes any of these sockets here. So this instant I'm gonna put it here. I think that's all we need to connect here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just install this into the power supply unit. And then we are almost there. So as I said, the power supply unit will close here. There is the fan, okay? The fan should facing downwards. There is a fan air ventilator here, and therefore it should face down. And that should be accessed outside. So that's how am I going to install it. Ah, okay, be careful myself. Yeah, now um, I'm gonna hold for you. If you just screws those four screws uh, to secure the power supply unit. Now all we have to do is connect the power cable to the right places. Looking at the motherboard, this is where the motherboard power connect. This is the motherboard power cable. So we're going to get through this one so that we can connect on the side. But this one, so we're going to put this through here so that it is towards the CPU. Okay, you can see a little, little thing sticking up here. This one and this one here are uh, a little bit more, a little bit parallel. Uh, okay. So, okay, so now it's ready, it's connected. So now this is the 8 pin. All you have to do is make it together and then connect. Okay, this is the USB cable, and that's the connector for the USB is. Uh, there is a little notch there, little uh, recess over there. And then you also can see little space over there. So you need to uh, make a parallel of those two things, and then push it in. Now, um, I have managed to connect the uh, power link, the power switch, and reset uh, the switch cable here. The number of pin, one is gap here. And if you look at here, Similar thing you can see over there, okay? So in this instance, this is where it's gonna go. The next thing we need to do is to connect the power to the graphic card. If you look at here, you will not put little things here coming out. And press it down, six cable. And that's it, it looks tidy. Now, I think everything is connected. I'm not doing anything, just tidying the cable, that's all I'm doing, okay? And make it tidier. Does it look tidy here? Yeah. Wow. Now all we have to do is manage the cable behind, like that. Oh. 
No, finally, when I connect everything, it looks like this one. All the fans, RGB fans are connected to this, and one on the right, one on the left, and three fans. So one to three, one to three fans. So three fans about together. Now, it looks really messy, isn't it? Yeah. I don't want something like this. Now, this uh, looks a bit of a tidier than earlier, isn't it? Now we gotta screw it again. Yeah, it's done. Go. Now everything looks okay for me. Um, we put the, the glass back. Put the back to that. Right away. Simple, isn't it? It's very yeah. dirty though. We're gonna clean that later. A letter. A letter. All I have done is Nina opened that up and I closed this box off. I made your coffee. You haven't right. drank it. Oh, I was so busy, I'm gonna drink that. It's cold! I sometimes drink. I mean, you could have iced coffee. Just yeah, 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 why not that one? Just put ice in there or uh, whatever. What are you uh, looking at? Uh, that's nothing yes, to see. Wi-Fi connector. Can you see? Yes. This is two Wi-Fi antenna connector. That way you're gonna connect the antenna. Oh my god, what is that? That looks like chopsticks. Or some kind of pen. Why? Well, it's important. I'm loving it you so much. You put it in your mouth! And that's what's the wrong. And that's what's wrong with it. And then that's how we blow the jar. Now we start with this one here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Look at the box. Yes. 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 Look at the box. Uh, we set up, we built up a PC, it's properly running, 2RGB on the top.